everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video. Today's video is a foundation review and it is on the Pat McGrath foundation and this is the Skin Fetish Subline Perfection Foundation. I'm in the shade medium 21. This is the bottle, this is the foundation right here. It's actually made out of glass, it feels really really luxurious. I'm very very afraid to actually use this foundation because this is the first time I'm actually using a satin finish foundation. I don't know what is gonna happen and if you guys do not know, I am oily combination so my t-zone gets pretty oily nervous in that sense whether this foundation can actually work on oily skin type this foundation retails for hundred dollars in sephora yes it's a pricey foundation that's why i'm very very nervous without any further ado let's go ahead and jump right into the video and let me show you guys how i apply this foundation so since the foundation is a satin finish foundation so i'm going to go in with the tatcha the silk canvas primer because this primer has never failed me not once guys i'm going to go in with this primer today my fingernails is so disturbing guys so going in with the foundation i will go ahead and put one side of my face to show you guys the coverage and then I'll leave out the other side of the face. So the foundation is actually very watery guys. It's not a very thick formula. It's going to be almost like skin light. Guys, can you see how sheer that is? It's almost a skin light. I mean it's like a skin light foundation. So this is one side done. And the other side which is nasty. Let me go ahead and put the other side. It's not like a very full coverage foundation. You can build this foundation up to a medium coverage foundation. But it, this foundation is not a full coverage foundation at all guys. So you can see the foundation is laid down. It has like that glowy glowy look to it. Because this is not a matte formula. I say again guys. It does not dry down matte at all. And let's go and put some concealer on. I'm using the Milani concealer. Because it's Conceal and Perfect Concealer. Okay, it does sit really, really very nicely with the concealer. The coverage is looking just about right for me, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face and do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back, guys. So I'm done with my makeup. I'm gonna set my entire face with the Urban Decay D Slick Setting Spray. It's because I don't want this to move at all. And the only one thing that I'm super, super nervous about is this area right here, where normally if I wear foundation over 9 to 10 hours, this area here becomes nasty because of the fine lines that I have around the mouth and when your mouth is moving, it starts to get messy around here. That's what I'm very, very afraid of. Hoping that this foundation won't do that to me, guys. So, yeah. I really am very, very interested to see whether this foundation is a long-lasting foundation due to its satin finish. And then I'll come back home and I'll show you guys how it actually looks like without touching up my face at all. Let's see whether this foundation is really worth the buy. Hey guys, so I'm back. I had a change. It's because I'm feeling really, really very hot. Let me just fan down my face because I'm feeling very, very hot. So this is how my face looks like after 10 hours of foundation on my face. I did not touch up at all. So you can see that there's so much of oil that has come out. I mean, that is so unfortunate. It's because I'm oily combination and this foundation is set and finished. But the thing is, I didn't touch up my face. If I would want to touch up my face in between the day, it will be perfect guys and after like almost 10 hours of foundation looking up close and personal I just decide me perspiring like a mad dog the part where I told you I was worried about my mouth area it didn't actually crease that much I mean I don't even see any creasing at all can you see any creasing I only can see a little bit at my smile lines not that bad like I said I have not touched up my face but if I would want to touch up my face throughout the day my face will last long I don't even see patchiness. I mean, when I came back on, my dog was all over my face. I was so worried that it's going to like slip and slide. But no, I really like it. It does really blend together with my skin. Um, it really looks like I don't have foundation on my skin. How nice I can wake up with my skin looking like this every day. <laughs> I wish. Half the time I wake up looking like an ostrich or monster. So yeah, overall, I do recommend this foundation to you guys. It's really suitable for oily skin types. Would I recommend this foundation to you guys? Yes, I will. But it's a little bit on the pricey side. So I leave it up to you guys. If you guys want to purchase this foundation or not, I leave it up to you. Because this foundation retails for $100 in Sephora. Comes to the end of the video. I'm so glad that I actually bought this foundation. 
Thank God this foundation is not going down the rubbish chute. If you find this video useful, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think. I love you guys so much. And good night. Bye guys. I gotta go. So hot.